For more information, please visit our website at darkcybernetics.com. This is Dark Cybernetics, Mathematics for Computer Scientists, Japanese Multiplication. Follow along for our free course documentation. In this video, we will talk about a method for multiplication. This method also works for polynomials. Suppose we want to factor numbers and use the FOIL method. It also works for that. Um, this simple algorithm just requires us to draw lines for the ones, tens, hundreds, and so forth values. In this simple demonstration, we will discuss the implications of using this algorithm and how we can use it for larger sums. Given a value, suppose we had a value 5 and a value um, 5, some symmetric quantity. Um, let's denote the value with different colors. Each value is independent and mutually exclusive but they are both inside of the ones column so therefore we only need to draw a, a grid that is symmetric the number of intersections between value a and value b be it x or y uh, should be 25 so we can draw values for the ones column in red and we can draw values for the ones column with blue and use um, purple to talk about the intersections we can quickly color in the values for the number of intersections between the ones column using this purple shade here. So one intersection, two intersections, three, four, five. And also for the other side, we can, and we, as we know that the sum of um, for five squared is 25. Okay. But suppose we had a larger quantity um, for intersections between ones and tens column, or suppose the, the intersections surpassed the ones column went into the hundreds values. Then we need a different type of diagram altogether. Suppose we want to multiply two numbers like 25 times 25. So we can use, uh, as before, we use two separate colors to denote the values. But this time we need to separate the values based on their digits so when we express the values we need um, two lines for the ones column well for the hundreds for the tens column and two lines for and five lines for the ones column for each intersection right this algorithm is also it's easy to understand this algorithm if we use like sticks if suppose we had 25 we had what seven sticks we can use seven sticks and can't draw sticks but you know we can draw some lines some crooked lines usually this diagram is drawn in uh, straight lines on even pieces of paper but you can keep the track of the number of intersections so we draw two for the tens values we draw five for the one values for each um, variable so now let's draw the other lines for the other side using our other color Alright, so as we've noticed inside this region, there is uh, quite a few intersections. So we need to denote certain parts of the map and divide them accordingly to represent the ones and the tens values or even the hundreds values. As we see here in, up in this upper hand corner, there are 25 intersections here. So those would represent the ones column intersections. So we need to map off those intersections. We'll use a different color to denote the ones region. And as we know, notice here, the last intersections of this grid represent the hundreds column. So we need to mark, mark off those regions on the map. Here in the center, we have there are four intersections in the, the um, hundreds values. There are 20 intersections inside of the 
tens values and there are 25 intersections inside of the ones column. And we can quickly count them. There's um, 10 at the top. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And you know it's symmetric, so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 at the bottom. Okay, like regular multiplication, there are still uh, 1 and 10's values. So we need to uh, do the carryover operation for each area. So we have 25 in this area. There are 20 intersections here and 4 intersections in the other area. So it's 10 here, and we write 10 down there, and 10 up here at the top. All right. Okay, so 4, 10, 2, 25. So we need to carry over values, and it's, so we just make a region for our solution. So for our solution, we need to write the 5 down, right? We, we can put a 5 in here. We need to carry the, two, the, the value over. So we carry the 2 over. One, and this is our ones region. Let's write that off. Right. So we need to write the five down and carry the two over. And now this region is 22, and this region is four. So five here. We carry over two. This is 22 in the center. So we write the two down, carry the two over to the hundreds column. Now we have 600. Right. Two plus this two plus four is six. And for more information, please visit our website at darkcybernetics.com.